what is going on you guys Shazane again back with the jack attack we are outside I've seen some comments people asking if I take them outside yes here's the answer to that we do come outside from time to time I feel kind of just chill in my shirt honestly it's, it's kind of like well he just needs some getting used to outside not like I'm not talking like generally I'm speaking more of like Anytime I bring him out, he's like shy at first, and then after a while, when he's like warmed up and ready to run around, he'll go jumping on things, do his thing. Um, we should come out though. Come here. He's still all the way back there, but yeah. So usually we'll just come out here into the courtyard by the pool and then go chill in that little nook over there. Look at the size of this pizza floaty. I wanna just eat it. I've been dieting lately, and honestly, that looks pretty good. Let's see if he'll come out over here. He's like more comfortable in this area. Jack, you wanna come out? You wanna go play for a bit? Maybe if I sit down. I feel like if I sit down, I'ma crush him though. There he goes, and he's off. So it's very like tropical vibes out here. Got this like wall of leaves in this area. So I bet he feels right at home, isn't that right, Jack? There he is. Good boy. Want this? Sometimes he just likes to see what's in my mouth. He's so curious. And then I'll open it and then he'll try going in there and that's when I'm like, this has gone far enough. But yeah, there he is, just chilling. Good boy. Good boy. You hear the little sounds he makes too. What are you looking at? You wanna sit? I'll take a seat. Let's sit down. He's just gonna hop right back off. There he goes. You ready to go back inside? done you done playing or you want to stay out a little bit longer oh yeah a lot of people think if you take them out they're gonna like turn wild and go like run away for a chance they get but if you take a look at him he's just like on me on my person almost the entire time there's been a couple times where he's ran like jumped off and ran and like climbed the neighbor's stairs or even he hopped in one of those trees um not this big one but I don't know if you can see it. It's that little one over there. He hopped in that one. Luckily, it wasn't that tall of a tree though, so I could just get him out. And he didn't like try and put up a fight when I got him back. He just kind of climbed on my arm. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You can just take him out. There was one instance though when, um, so I used to, when quarantine started, I used to go work out at my friend's house because he had a, he had a garage gym, so I would be going there like almost every day. My friend's place is like, look at him, he's checking himself out in the mirror. Jack, did you see that in the mirror? That ugly ass thing, what was that? Um, but yeah, so I used to go to my friend's house to work out. His place is like 45 minutes away, and I wouldn't want to leave Jack for that long, like 45 minute drive, the actual workout for like an hour, and then 45 minute drive back. There's this like fine ass girl walking through my apartment complex. Anyway, um, so I didn't want to leave him there for that long, so I would just take him with me. And in the car, I would like let him out of his carrier, and he would just be kind of like jumping around, like doing his own thing the whole car ride. Um, and typically, before I would get out of the car, I would put him back in the carrier. 
but there was one time when I kind of just took him out without putting him back in there. He got spooked for some reason and he jumped off me and then he went under the car and like up. So I was freaking the fuck out because I couldn't see him anymore but I could hear him. Uh, he was like squeaking and I had just turned the car off and it was like the engine was hot and everything underneath was hot and I was looking for him. Luckily one of my other friends had just pulled up and then he was like looking for him on the other side. And then we found him, he was like chilling on top of the the rear tire. He was like sitting on top of it. I was like, don't you ever fucking do that again. Um, that was probably my biggest scare that I've had with him. Um, other than that, whenever I take him out, he's not really a problem. Um, if anything, I like to introduce him to people like outside of my apartment, outside like somewhere else, like their house, stuff like that. Because when we're in my apartment and people come over, especially people he's never met before, he gets super like defensive and territorial and like he's always like, always like chirping at them, squeaking at them, squawking at them, making all sorts of noises, wanting them to leave, to like run up on their shoulder and bite their ear. Um, and then he like take a knife and put it through their heart. No, I'm kidding, it doesn't get that bad. He does bite them sometimes though. No one's ever bled. I mean, like maybe one time which is another thing you got to be like cautious about if you have a monkey is like you got to be careful if they're not like super well trained like i'll admit he's not um but you got to be really careful about who's handling your monkey because if, if they bite someone um and that person bleeds or if it breaks the skin and for some reason that person decides to be like an asshole and report you then your monkey can actually be put down um, because that's what they have to do to like test them for rabies to make sure the, the person who got bit doesn't get infected with rabies when honestly they could just get a rabies shot and then the monkey wouldn't have to die like that's a real story I heard at my when I went to pick him up for my breeder it wasn't my breeder who told it it was actually someone else who was there they were like having their monkey babysat but yeah that's about it for this video just wanted to show you guys Jack outside I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.